Good morning. Welcome to the WCCE Morning News Show. My name is Divya and I will be your anchor for today, Wednesday, February 26, 2020. This is day five for activity classes. Here's Gavin with the weather. The current temperature in Lake Wiley is 45 degrees. Today's high is 67 degrees. The low for tonight is 34 degrees. The forecast for today is cloudy. Now back to our anchor. Thank you. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I salute to the flag of South Carolina and pledge to the of the state, love, loyalty, and faith. At Crowder's Creek, we pledge to seek smart solutions, be on board with learning, act responsibly, and respect others. And now for a moment of silence. Today for lunch, we will have sloppy joe, chicken nuggets, and cheesy chef salad. Dr. Dickey, Ms. Hamilton, and Mr. Craig, and Ms. House would like to wish a happy birthday to Leah Hampton. The teacher will provide you with your birthday pencil. Yesterday, Black History Mystery Person was Aretha Franklin. The winner was Diego Gutierrez. See Mr. Fisher for your prize. Here's today's Mystery Person. Good luck. I was born in New Orleans, Louisiana, August 4th, 4th 1901. I had a sad childhood because I was abandoned by my father and neglected by my mother. I was famous for my great jazz music. I was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1990. Throughout the 1960s, I was one of the most famous and beloved entertainers in the world. My nickname was Satchmo. Satchmo, who am I? Garrett Morgan for Vet History Day. Garrett Morgan was born on March 4, 1877 in Kentucky. Garrett Morgan invented a traffic light after he saw an accident. Garrett Morgan also invented a gas mask, a standing comb, and many other things. Happy Vet History Day! Happy Wednesday, boys and girls. It's hard to believe how quickly the week is flying by, but it has been a great week so far, and we certainly want to continue it that way. A big shout out to all of our classes that have gone on field trips. Thank you so much for being on your very, very best behavior and making those good choices and representing our school and your teachers and parents very well. Fourth grade students, don't forget your fun week of swimming lessons will begin on Monday. So please make sure you have returned your permission slip. If you have any questions about what will take place next week, if you haven't turned in your permission slip, please ask your teachers questions because we want to make sure that every kid gets to participate and you can only participate if you bring back that form. So again, if you have questions, please ask your teachers today so that if there's anything we need to do to help you prepare, we will have time to do so. And last but not least, our third through fifth grade students, we are, you are going to be taking a very important survey this morning. It's a survey called the Student Engagement Survey. And if you're in fourth and fifth grade, you probably remember this from last year. But this is a survey that you need to take very seriously and you need to do your very best. Your teachers will give you clear directions. They will um, read the questions to you. But please feel free to ask questions if you're confused about anything you're being asked. Because again, we want this to reflect your very best work and your thoughts and ideas about our school. And now my favorite part of the morning where I get to invite a special guest to the Soar Sofa. And today I'm inviting Abigail Helms from Miss Green and Miss Rickman's class. Come on over, Abigail, how are you? Okay. Good, well let me read to you a little bit about what her teachers had to say. Abigail is one of our kindest classroom friends who is who always comes in the room with a smile 
and a giggle to share with the class. She is consistently on board with learning and respectful to her friends. We love watching her soar each and every day and check it out. She's even wearing her soar t-shirt today and I can certainly agree. Abigail has such a beautiful smile and she does have a little shy giggle. So we're gonna see if she's gonna share some special advice with our CCE friends. Do you have any advice you wanna give them? Keep on soaring. Keep on soaring, boys and girls. So Abigail, here is your certificate, as well as a pencil that says my principal is proud of me because I am super proud of you. And here is your special ring to help you to remember to soar. So boys and girls, keep soaring, keep working hard, keep smiling too, and maybe you'll be joining me soon on the sofa. Have a great day. Here are two announcements. Attention students and teachers, kindness challenges are due tomorrow. Students, please turn in your kindness challenge sheets to your teacher and don't forget to write your name on your paper. Teachers, please have these ready for pickup Thursday morning by eight o'clock. Thank you. Would you like your parents to speak to CCE students about their job? Career Day will take place on Monday, March 30th for primary students and Tuesday, March 31st for elementary students. Students, you will receive a form today to take home to parents. So talk to your parent tonight about being a presenter at this year's Career Day event. Forms are due by Thursday, March 19th. Please contact Ms. Green or Ms. Robinson with questions. Thank you for watching the WCCE Morning Nisha. Have a great day.